Here we have the DAB EasyBox, which is arguably the best pump for domestic use on the market available anyway. It um, definitely in South Africa is the market leader. It's quite a large pump for typical domestic purpose, purposes, but the, it's sort of the best all around package for, for everything. Um, let's open it up and see what we have. Take off these straps. I think should be able to, yes, just lift off the box like that. Okay. And then it seems to just be sitting on top of a little polystyrene stand here. Ooh, it's quite a heavy one, this. Pump out. Okay, in here we just have the rubber feet for the unit, a seal, and a little booklet. Okay. Quite a heavy pump. Okay, so overview, nice control panel at the front here. We've got multiple options for connecting water, both from the sides and front for this sort of orientation. Or if, if you have it wall mounted, which is an option as well, or lying on its back, you've got con connections here at the, at the bottom. Um, all the air vents have got um, little screens on there to prevent bugs. And at the top, you've got... A little cover there. In here we've got a little quick start guide um, which is also available electronically. Um, there's a QR code here you can scan to um, get the electronic version. Here's the service port for the um, for the tank. Come with a little toolkit here to do certain functions and um, yes what have we got here in the specs. It says it's, it's a 1.1 kilowatt power rated pump, but the input power is rated at um, 1550 watt, uh, maximum height 60 meters, so six bar. The nice thing is you can do up to eight meters suction with this. So if you have an underground tank, then both this one and the mini are awesome, awesome options. The mini is basically just a shrunken down, slightly lower spec version of this. Um, yeah, overall, a very, very nice package. Um, both this and the Mini are extremely focused on low noise. You can see the mosquito screens again. So they've got mounting points everywhere for um, rubber feet to, to prevent noise from vibration. It's got at the back and at the bottom. You can mount them there. One of the other things that I personally really, really like about, about these units is that um, the, the motor and the electronics is actually liquid cooled. So you haven't got a fan, um, well, A, making noise and B, something that can break and clog up there. It's actually the water flow through the pump that cools the unit. Options for this, um, you get a, a cover, which is for outdoor installations, just to prevent water damage to the electronics, especially uh, variable speed drive pumps like these um, you have quite expensive electronics because you basically have an inverter well two in there and then um, other than that you've got a wall mount bracket if you, you want to save floor space to mount it up against the wall and then you've also got a deconnect box which is basically to link the pump to the internet and then you can via app actually monitor the pump and change settings this is very handy, especially if it's like a vacation home or something where you're not necessarily on site all the time. You can set alerts so that it'll let you know if there's a leak or someone left a tap open. You can um, monitor the water consumption. Overall, just it's we still need to play around with it a lot and make some more videos, but I'm excited about this pump. I really do think it is an awesome solution for any sort of slightly larger applications.